Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's King Vita here, and I'm back with another review. This time I'm reviewing the Marvel Legends series Spider-Man Vulture. So there is Vulture. And, as always, again, look at the packaging. This is a Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure, of course. There's Demo Goblin's head right there. On the side of the packaging, you have, same as always, there's Adrian Toomes, a.k.a. Vulture. On the other side, same thing. On the back, obligatory product shot. Bio, if you want to read that, go ahead, pause the video. There is Build-A-Figure. If you have these lines, these figures in these this line you can make demo goblin and a bunch of warning do not eat anything in this box because this is very bad very dangerous zero three years old don't need it bottom of the box bunch of pointless stuff again and that's basically it Fuck. so there's vulture aka adrian tombs and he looks pretty good. He looks very good, actually. Very nice. Uh, Marvel Legends really knows how to make their figures. As, as I've mentioned in my other reviews, I have a, quite a lot of Marvel Legends. Really, really good figures. Let's take a closer look at this guy. So there's Adrian Toomes right there. Let me... So I'm going to get a good look at the head sculpt there. There you go. There's his head. Come on his chest. Got his um, bird fur thing there. I don't know what that is. Really nice detail. I like the hands. They're really interesting. Mine has a bit of a... I don't know if the camera could zoom in, uh, or focus, rather. Come on. Come on. Focus. There. I don't know, but mine has a bit of a green splotch. Bit of imperfection. That's eh, not a problem. I've seen worse. Really cool. Come around the back. There's his back. I'll explain what these holes are uh, or for uh, later on. Because he's got uh, rectangular pegs here, 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 and here. I'll explain what these are for. This is to pose him. This uh, one right here is to pose him and uh, get him centered in the display pe peg. But yeah, and he does have his um, old man scalp logo uh, things, skin pigmentation there. Very cool. So articulation, his head is on a ball joint. It can go up that far. It can look down that far. His neck as well. His neck is... Um, well, no, not really. His neck doesn't move, but he has two articulations. It's on a ball joint, and it can, the ball joint itself can go back and forth. So instead of having, normally he would look down this much, but because his neck moves, he can do that. That looks, that doesn't look natural. <laughs> Arms could do a full 360. It could go out on a ratchet joint. They have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Come on, come on, there you go. Double jointed elbows, okay? And he can also move his hand. It's, it is on a ball joint, so he can move his hand sideways, can do this, can do that. He has an ab crunch. Oh, he has butterfly uh, joints as well. So his his arms, come on, they're pretty stiff butterfly joints. 
but they can move inward and outward as well. So yeah, he could do, he could totally do that. He's got an ab crunch, as I mentioned, he could go down that far, he can go back that far, basically straight, just a little bent back. There you go. He has a waist movement. Legs can go forward that far before they start doing the ballerinas. That's basically as far as it goes before it just goes to the side. Can go back that far before it goes to the side again. Hips can rotate. Double jointed knees. And toes can move up, back, and he's got ankle pivot. There you go. Let me stand him up right there. Come on, stand. There you go. Stand. There. That's better. Come on. Pretty, pretty please stand. There. Now when he's not wobbling around, this figure does reach up at about eh, just almost at the seven inch mark, almost, but not really, more like six and a half. This figure stands about six and a half inches tall. Now he does come with accessories because why wouldn't he? First accessory we're going to talk about, if he would stand, ever. He never stand. This, this figure is really weird to stand. Come on. Come on. There. He comes with these two wings here. He comes with two sets of wings. Now, okay, this is really strange. Let me explain. He comes with two sets of wings, but they're in two sets. Each of these is a set of two. So, they come with these as well. Now, how these work is on the back of his arms, there are peg holes. Here, on the forearm, let me zoom in here. Here, on the forearm, and here on the bicep. And these go pegged into each. And I'll explain how that works right now. You want to extend his arm, and you want to take this part here. Is it this part? Yeah, I think... Yes, it is. So you want to take this part here. And there is a peg right there on the edge of the wing. So you take the peg and you just peg it in. Oops. I think it's the other hand. Is it the other hand? Uh, other arm? Let me see. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. I've had them, I had them mixed up. You want to take this and you want to peg it right here. There you go. Okay. So there's one part of each wing.
okay? And I think I did this wrong. Yes, I, yeah, I think I did this wrong. Did I? Hold on. Take this, plug this in here. Yeah, yep, I did it wrong. It's actually on the other side. And just peg this there. That's better. That's what it's supposed to look like. Alrighty then. Then you take the bigger part of the wing, this part here, and this one also has a peg right here. And it'll go into the port on his forearm right there. Right there. And you want to line it up. Okay, so you want to line this up, he, this big wing, below this one, like, like this. Like that. Not like that. Like this. There you go. That's one wing. Same thing on the other one. On the other peg. That's the other one. And there's Vulture with his two wings. He's ve now he these wings make him really wide. Like really wide. From wingspan to wingspan, he is about Hold the camera still. There you go. From wingspan to wingspan. He is exactly t one foot long. Wow. He's one foot long from wing wingspan to wingspan. He's pretty big. He's pretty, pretty big if you, if you, you know, count sizes. And, um, sorry, uh, from side to side. Now, he does come with one more accessory. You could leave him like this, or... He comes with an extra head. Right there. It's extremely hard to focus considering his, his he has skin tone and come on. Come on. You can do it. There you go. There's his head with his helmet. Very nice. Very nice touch in the, in the making of, of this figure's head. Now, if you want to, you, you could leave him like this, like I said, or you could pop this off and pop his new head in. There you go. It's a little tricky, but it can be done. And there's Vulture with his new head. And wings. Very cool uh, looking figure. Very nice looking figure. I deeply enjoy this figure very much. He looks very good uh, to display on your Marvel shelf and everything in your collector's uh, shelf. However, he, these wings here, I think they should have made them... Oh, and there, there's one popping off. I think these wings should have been made with a different kind of plastic. Or at least a green see-through plastic at the very mo uh, least. Because... pretty heavy so his entire body unless you pose him in a specific way let me um, try and do this there 
if you you can kind of pose him in a specific way where his body will counteract the weight of the wings and he'll be able to stand. But yeah, he looks really good. He looks very, very nice with his wings and his full um, vulture getup. Very nice. Now, one thing that I, uh, I believe I mentioned but if not, I'm going to mention it again. I don't know why they decided to do this. You can remove this. I don't know the reason for this. I really don't at all. Plus he looks weird. He looks weird without it. I don't know. I don't know why they decided you could remove this. This should have been part of the um this should have been part of the costume. Speaking of which, let's take a closer look at this cuz I just noticed This right here is very neat because it looks like it's uh it's molded in in a way that it looks like it's flowing with the wind. See how it's going this way? Instead of going straight down, it's going to the side. Diagonally that way. That is cool, that is impressive. Very neat idea, very neat idea. Very nice. Very, very nice. There you go. Uh, let's pop in his regular head. Let's pop his regular head back in. And of course, it falls. It doesn't want to agree with me. I got it. Come on. There you go. That's better. Now. This is as far. Come on. There you go. This is as far as you'll get with the accessories. Not much to it. He didn't come with extra hands. Not much, just two, and yeah, sadly, that's all you get. Come on, come on, stand. Come on! There you go. Let's move him over here. And let's move in for size comparison. And of course he falls. Because why wouldn't he? There you go. Don't move. Let's bring in War Greymon. He's a pretty tall guy. That's bringing Marvel Select Spider Gwen. And you can see they're exactly the same size. Even though she is a Marvel Select. 
and this is a Marvel Legends, so. But they're basically the same size, and yeah. Here he is next to the Mighty Morphin Megazord. He's slightly taller, just ever so slightly taller than the Megazord. And if you count the wings, he's also wider, so. And finally, we will bring in the one you've all been waiting for, the star of the show. The Conqueror of Conquerors, the greatest on two legs, your friend and mine, Refractor. Yeah. So you can see how tall he is next to Refractor there. He's a fairly decent sized figure, you know, there's not too much going on with him. Eat. Oh, come on, you're going to do this in my video now? Go. Go. Leave. Go. Get out. Back. Back. Stay where you are. Stay exactly where you are. I'm watching you. This is Vulture's review. So that's how big Vulture is. Um, should you buy him? Yeah, I definitely... This is one of the figures I completely uh, stand behind, you know, if you're going to buy a figure like this. Um, check Big Bad Toy Store. Check Amazon. I'll leave all the affiliate links below. Well, I'm not affiliated with any one of these whatsoever. But... Still, I will leave links in the description below if you want to get your hands on this guy. He's really good. Uh, for the price point, I think he's an amazing figure. I think he's one of the figures, if you want to collect uh, Spider-Man uh, figure lines, whether they be uh, heroes or villains from the Spider-Man line, definitely check out Vulture. Vulture is really good. Mr. Adrian Toomes here is... I guess for like a Spider-Man fanatic, he is a must. You cannot have your entire roster of Spider-Man villains without, you know, Vulture. He's a really good figure, to be honest. Also, one thing that I didn't mention is the green they used. It specifically, it looks like forest green. I'm not sure what kind of green this is. Is this like jade green? I don't, I have no idea. But it's a really dark uh, green. Almost, almost like a really serious green. Same thing with the mask here. Same thing with the mask here.
Oh, also, uh, one thing that in the mask that the mask has that the rest of the figure does not is, I don't know how well my camera will pick that up, but if you realize on his head, there are lines as well as on the side. There's lines on his helmet. Again, I don't know how well my camera will pick that up. There you go. Now, none of these lines are painted on. This is entirely made uh, using the plastic itself. This is These lines are part of the plastic. They're not painted on, so. Really nice attention to detail, really like that. But that is only with the helmet because the rest of the figure has painted lines. If I zoom in here, it's got painted lines right there not molded in they're just painted on okay so that's really interesting that is really interesting so uh i think that pretty much covers vulture and everything about him at this point so There is Marvel Legends Vulture. And this King Vita saying Marvel Hasbro Marvel Legends series Demo Goblin build a figure Vulture. That's his name. There you go. And this King Vita saying Laters.